Hi, everyone. This is Caroline with the Expat Interviews, Thriving Abroad, where you get an opportunity to meet the most amazing, fabulous, fearsome, awesome, uh, let me see, what other adjective can I find? People that are living their best life abroad. And hopefully it will be a source of uh, motivation for you to see just how they did it and how you can too. Today, I'm so excited to have as my guest, Vashan, who's here and she's living in a country that I have to say would not be on my top 10 list of places to move to, but when we're done, you're going to have to add it to yours. Thank you so much, Vashan, for, uh, for joining you to me. be here. So um, let's begin. You're originally from the USA, the US of A. Yes, uh, I was born in South Carolina, raised in Florida, uh, a variety of other places. I'm a Navy brat. Um, and I moved to Sweden uh, in 2017, the end of 2017 um, from California. Okay, so you moved around a little bit in the US. Mm -hmm. What was your uh, um, criteria for picking a place that you wanted to change your lifestyle? I just didn't want to be in the US anymore. Um, I was looking for somewhere in Europe. Um, I've always had a fascination with Norse mythology and I I loved Sweden um, and one of my favorite uh, game companies is here uh, and I always wanted to work for them so I wanted to when the opportunity presented itself um, I was like you know what yeah that's one step closer to something I want to do with my career and it's a wonderful country. Wait a minute so you had this desire to work for a company and yeah you went to Sweden and you're working for that company. Yes. Wow. It took me, it took me, I didn't originally move out here to work for them, but I had it in the back of my mind. Like if I, if I could just get to the country, I will be able to someday get up to that company that I want to, that I want to work for. Um, and I actually start on the 24th. Wow. So Congratulations. Talk about manifesting your desires. That is super, super awesome. So happy to hear that. Okay. So you, uh, you, are you in Stockholm? Yes. So you're in Sweden and I know that that was a shift for you culturally, uh, you know, especially from a place like South Carolina, Florida, going to Sweden. How did it feel initially going there? And now, uh, before you answer, before you answer, I, I wanted to say to everyone that this is so important, what you're going to say and uh, what you've said about picking a place that you, you groove with, right? Like you really grooved with the European, you know, that was something that grew with you. So it just makes it so much better if you pick a place that, you know, has things that you, that you enjoy or that you're really in tune with. So I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. Uh, wait, can you ask the question again? <laughs> I know. What made I, me pick it? <laughs> um, no, I was asking about the culture. How? Oh, okay. How is the cultural difference uh, between living, you know, in a place like South Carolina and and Sweden? Uh, well, it's a huge culture shock just from the United States in general. Um, my first year was kind of bumpy. Um, the job that I originally moved here for didn't work out. And then I went to another, um, another company and then ultimately made it up to Stockholm. Um, but uh, it's very slow. The culture is very slow. Um, it's very laid back. Everything is um, very, you know, bureaucratic by the book, but we do have a lot of freedoms. Um, so it's, uh, it, it was an adjustment. Everything is like, especially in the workplace, everything is consensus, consensus based, you know, it's talk about it, don't stand out, don't rock the boat, um, which for a loud opinionated uh, black woman was a little bit too, took me a little bit to get adjusted to. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, Honestly, the biggest challenge I had was learning how to slow down. Um, because in in the US, we we work, we work, we work, we work, you gotta go, 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 do all of this. And here it's like, no, you put in your eight hours a day, you're done. Don't talk to anybody after six o'clock, usually after five o'clock, because most people come in uh, at eight. Um, that's it. 
like you don't uh there's no there's no uh after there's no overtime like there's no crunching there's no um working on the weekends uh very 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 rarely like weekends are sacred um vacation and holidays are are important as well um so yeah it was learning how to relax and enjoy life and and working to live instead of living to work um was a big challenge I, I, I want to just add that what you said was exactly how I felt when I first left the U.S. I moved to Costa Rica. And that was the hardest thing for me to do, to just relax. I mean, I was always, I was on edge for a, a few months and, you know, everybody's like, you know, what is wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would stand in line at the supermarket and I'm like, okay, hurry up, let's go, let's go. It's taking so long, you know, and 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 I'm at the I go to the bank and everybody's like okay um, yes yeah. yeah. so, and I'm like oh my god like you know I've got somewhere to be so yeah. <laughs> that was just such a huge I'm so happy to hear you say that because that was such a huge adjustment for me also mm. just to slow down it's like you're you know you you don't realize it until you go somewhere and you're like why are all these people so slow why are they so relaxed you know they're not on edge so exactly. So, is there a, um, a huge expat community as far as, say, maybe Africans or, or other Americans or other there? Stockholm is a very international uh, city. There are people from everywhere here. Um, I will say that if, when you first move here, most if you move here for work, most of the people you're going to be friends with are going to be your coworkers because Swedes are a little bit reserved. Um, and it takes a while for you to, for them to open up to you to get into their inner circle. Um, but once you're in, it's, it's fine. It's just that they're very, they're very private people. Um, so, uh, yes, there is a huge expat community here. Um, I also moderate or help moderate a, uh, expats in Stockholm and Sweden Facebook group, it's about 25,000 people, um, that, uh, yeah, it's a big expat community. Um, and, uh, yeah, most of my friends I get, you know, I made from work. I do now after being here for so long, I do have friends that, you know, are from Sweden and born and raised here, um. But yeah, it's great, great international community. Um, also, yes, there is a very, very large uh, African population here, most from uh, from Ghana, Ghana, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, so there are, it's a very multicultural, at least in Stockholm, um, and also in Malmo, which is in Southern Sweden, um, very multicultural, um, very, very expat friendly what areas. Uh, what about just uh, the cost of living there? Uh, it, I know that it's not one of the cheaper places in Europe to live, but how do you, um, I mean, are there a, a, a jobs available for foreigners or should you come with your remote job? Um, you have to have a certain amount in your savings to come as a remote like worker. Um, most, the easiest way to get a job uh, or to get a residence permit in Sweden is to go is to get a job offer and then have them apply for your visa because your work permit is tied to your residence permit. Um, cost of living is fairly expensive. Um, there is something called the municipal queue um, that you have in each city, meaning that you sign up to get um, an apartment basically assigned to you. Um, and in Stockholm, that wait can be 10, 15 years. Um, to get an affordable apartment. Otherwise you are going to be subletting for the foreseeable future until you buy an apartment. And if you've been here for a year, you've worked at your job for a year and you have a, you have a down payment, you can buy an apartment. And that's gonna be the most cost efficient way of doing things. Um, I lucked out, I have an apartment through the municipal queue after being in the queue for like a year and a half because I stalked it religiously for <laughs> the whole time. Um, and applied for an apartment that was part of a newly built construction, which is a little bit outside of the city. So I live about 25, 30 minutes outside of Stockholm, uh, outside of central Stockholm. I'm still in Stockholm County. Um, but uh, it's my rent's 1400 a month, um, which is pretty high for a firsthand contract, meaning it's my permanent apartment. Uh, I could live here till I die if I want to. Um, but uh, 
it's it's very hard to get a first hand contract. You will be if they call it a uh, second hand. You'll be subletting uh, when you move here. Um, most large companies like Spotify, um, uh, they will give you relocation assistance. So they will find you a temporary apartment and you can stay for about one or two years, but you'll have to apartment hop until you find something permanent. Okay, so that's that's interesting to know. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the benefits that you have uh, acquired so far or that you feel that you've gotten so far from living there? Oh man, um, well, perks of being here, we get, I get six weeks of paid vacation per year. Um, that does not include my holidays because holidays are, you know, we have lots of holidays. It's actually a four day weekend this weekend. Um, and uh, healthcare, my taxes. Yes, I still pay like 30% in taxes. Taxes are a little bit higher, but your employer covers most of it. Um, and so what you get is like still, I used to pay like 30% of tax in, in the United States. So for me, it, it's about the same. Um, and uh, yeah, my healthcare is covered. Um, you can also buy private insurance if you want. Uh, there's so much nature. I can hop on a ferry and go out to one of the islands in the archipelago, um, spend the weekend there. Um, it's just, it's so relaxing, like being able to just be outside and just be, just be, I guess. <laughs> it's a very calm, um, very calm place to, uh, to live. Yeah, the only uh, really cultural aspects of Sweden, and I, I may sound very ignorant saying this, that I am aware of, or things that I learned from shopping at Ikea, and... Um, <laughs> Ikea is sacred. <laughs> you know, and I and I got to know a little bit about Sweden and you know lifestyle lifestyles in particular, and and it does seem like it's a more laid back, very friendly mm. uh, a place uh, to live. So so you're there, and um, do, is this it for you as far as for the the near future? I mean, is this a place that you feel comfortable enough to say I'm here until? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's my life, my quality of, of living, even with all the challenges that I've had since I, I got here, have are drastically more uh, better than than when I was in the United States. Um, I'm not scared. I'm not. I don't have to deal with you know being afraid of law enforcement. They're all so nice. <laughs> um, it's just the kind of like a weight off of your back um, to just be able to exist um, in peace. Um, I mean, not to say that we don't have our own, you know, every every place has their their challenges and, and stuff like that, but it's nowhere near as as bad as as the US. Like so um, are you uh, so I guess that means that you're an expert. You're an ex batter for lifer then, right? You're a lifer. Oh, yes. I don't plan on going back to the U.S. at all. No. I mean, I'll go to visit like my family sure, and stuff. But, sure, but sure. and you're a lifer. Right back, right, right back out. <laughs> um, I've seen what the, what the possibilities of what could be instead of staying in the U.S. Like, oh, this is this is just, you know, I'm just going to work and work and work until I die. Like, no, I'm going to retire and probably retire in Spain is my goal. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay. So Europe is, is it for you? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, like I cut you off before and I wanted to set up because I really didn't want to forget to say it that, you know, uh, in, in this series of, of uh, interviews that I've done, you know, there's people from all over the world and, and I want people to really understand that, you know, there's so many places that you can find your group, you know, like you want to eventually go to Spain. And just because you're in Sweden for X years doesn't mean that, you know, you can't go somewhere else in the future. And, and that's so important for people to know that, you know, this world is so big. And, you know, I love, you know, Italy today, but maybe next week, I, you know, I love Denmark. And, and uh, we're just, uh, that that's the way that uh, our life should be, you know, the freedom to to just, you know, go where you feel good and enjoy life. Um, the last thing I wanted to ask you is uh, something I ask all my guests. 
Um, what bit of motivation would you give to someone who is considering changing their lifestyle? Because this is truly a lifestyle change. Um, you know, someone who who really is a little hesitant or fearful of, of making this change, but they really want to, they just don't know if they have the courage to, what advice would you give them? Um, just do your research, like find somewhere that you think would be closely meets the ideals of how you want to live basically um look at your life situation now look at like what would if i had a magic wand what would you know what would what kind of area would i want to be in or what kind of lifestyle would i want to have um and then find somewhere that you that would enable you to live that type of lifestyle. Um, I love being outside. I also love the water. So me is, uh, for me, being here is is quite perfect. Um, and uh, yeah, just do your research. Find people who live there. Connect to other expats that have already done the done the the leap of faith. Um, I basically just packed my bags and was like, you know what? I moved. I've moved around so much my whole life from being, you know, a, a military child. Um, so for me, it was just pick up and go. Like it, it, things are just things. Like you'll you'll get more things no matter where you go. <laughs> It's so true. It's so true. So, and you'll find different things everywhere you go. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God, you will find things every single So time. many things. I have bought and sold so many sets of furniture. And it's yes. like, okay, I've got more furniture now. And then it's like if I were to move and switch countries, all of this stuff would just get sold. And then I would just go pick up more stuff and and wherever I go because it's just it's just stuff like I have maybe five or six boxes of like personal sentimental things and everything else is is easily replaceable um so it's yeah definitely definitely do it well Bashan, thank you so much for sharing a little piece of your expat journey. How can we connect with you if there's someone that uh, would like more information about Sweden? Or um, yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Vishan Pew. Um, I'm the only one. <laughs> so uh, lucky yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And thank my parents for giving me a wonderfully unique name. Um, so yeah, just find me on LinkedIn. Um, that's where I do most of my most of my communication. Okay, and um, and we will uh, look forward to uh, to connecting with you and and seeing your life in the future. Um, for those that want to see, um, thank you again. Many blessings to you and same to you. Uh, May you have an incredible and amazing life abroad and um, and all of your dreams will come true. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much, Vashon. Right, bye. bye. Hi again. And I want to thank you for watching. If you like our interviews, then give it the thumbs up to see more expat interviews thriving abroad. Thanks.